All right, welcome back. We're gonna go discover if uh, there's anything inside this uh, drowned people's house. I'm just kidding. You can't because it's a game from 2001 and they didn't consider this. <laughs> oh, doo -doo -doo. It's um. Oh, okay. I guess the horse can't fit through there for some reason. <laughs> yep. Sure. Uh. But again, mystery. A sunken, abandoned ship. What was is that? Why is the turtle violent now too? I was always, you know, whenever I went through like onto the ocean and I saw like a sea turtle, I was always just like, oh, one of the most dangerous creatures to ever grace our land. Well, aren't they endangered? <laughs> They're endangered, but like, you know Are it they attacks. A danger? You know it attacks the horse. You know it does. Probably. Aren't they a danger? It's funny, you figured they'd be doing really well for themselves because, like... They eat the plastic. They eat... Yeah, exactly. Because they eat jellyfish, and there's, like, an overabundance of jellyfish right now. But, you know, jellyfish surprisingly look a lot like plastic bags. So, <laughs> death is never-ending. Yep. But it's not our fault. That's everybody... It's the was... world's fault. <laughs> it's actually the real corporation's fault. Yeah, like, well... Eh. Well, I mean, in all fairness, it's not like we can really do anything about it. You heard about the whole... I don't know how true this is. I didn't look this up. So maybe I might be wrong on this. I'm just going to fucking put that out there now. Uh, how dare you? But fucking... Sorry, continue. Apparently we can't recycle plastic <laughs> anymore. I didn't know that. Because the way we've been recycling plastic is actually worse for the atmosphere than not recycling it. <laughs> because to recycle it, they have to burn it. Yeah, you gotta melt it down. Like yeah, that. and it releases horrible toxic death into the air. Um, which is why only China will do it. And China has stopped accepting our plastic. Because they have too much of it now. To burn. So what you're telling me is we're going to be in a... There's a, that island the size of, like, New England in the middle of the ocean? It's gonna get bigger. It's just gonna become bigger and bigger. Yeah, 100%. Okay. In all fairness, though, if we keep this up, we can probably start living on this stuff. Which means we'd be, like, killing the overpopulation problem. So, that's a plus. Yeah. And by not recycling that plastic, we're also not totally destroying uh, the, the ozone layer, which we're already doing at an alarming rate. Yep. So, we should probably just not do that anyway. <laughs> okay, I need a running start, I'm pretty sure, on this one. Sonic Speed! Okay, there we there go. There you go. What horse number was that? Two? That was two or three. Three! three. <laughs> Look, a second washed up abandoned boat. Mystery. What a mystery. Like, this game is just full of what the fucks, <laughs> as I like to call them. Chris. Ah, oh, turtle on the beach. It was probably laying its eggs. <laughs> it was. Oh, nope. uh, we've already trampled nope. and killed them. Oh, there was a, there was a cave, I think. Was there a cave, or was that just a weird indent in the wall? Mystery. That just looks like a weird indent in the wall. No, nope, because there's a save point, so there has to be a cave. Oh shit, you're right, Chris. Don't let anyone treat you like regular glue. You're glitter glue. <laughs> Fair enough. Is that implying that I'm special? You know what I'm gonna fucking do? <laughs> I'm gonna look up really stupid, uh, motivational things. Why are you sneaking into this cave, Barbie? Also, have you noticed that during the tail end of this game, we're getting a lot more cutscenes? Yeah. Like, a lot more. <laughs> yeah, it is what it is. Alright, we gotta... To Barbie, please climb the ledge, thank you. Alright. <laughs> Barbie runs on adventurous spirits. <laughs> Does that mean that we're going to crash? No. It means that we're going to violently explode. What? Are you looking up uh, inspirational quotes really now? Really stupid ones. Uh, okay. I have no issue putting up with myself, my social life. I'm sorry. You keep going. I'm, I'm, uh... I'm trying to figure out what the plank of wood wants me to do. I had to stand over here. Chris, any girl can be glamorous. All you have to do is stand still and look stupid. <laughs> I don't quite get that one, but alright. Books are as useful to a stupid person as a mirror is useful to a blind person. Oh, that one I don't disagree with. <laughs> 
I'm stupid. I'm ugly. I'm dumb. I smell. Did I mention I'm stupid? That one's just statements. There's nothing encouraging about that one. <laughs> Sometimes, when I close my eyes, can't see. Yes, yeah, I voted. I would have. I would. I would say so. <laughs> Don't bother me. Okay, no. That doesn't look like something that way. <gasps> Another cutscene! You are so right with we are getting more- This fool is afraid of birds. Don't even start me on this. Birds now! Am I gonna have to scare away the birds with the horse and then that's exactly what I'm gonna do, isn't it? Yep. Alright, it's a little fun, but... <laughs> it it's not really the, fun. It's a little fun. It's a little fun, but it doesn't change the fact that it's still stupid. <laughs> Chris, I just have this quote for you. <laughs> Chewbacca. Wait, what? Is <laughs> just walking noise. I think you need to get them all. Uh, I do. But there, that looks like all of them to me. I, uh, well, we'll find out, I guess. No, there was way more on the other side. But Chris, did you like my quote? Thing? Oh, okay. It was said by a wonderful Chewbacca. Yeah, no, it was good. I remember that. It was one of my favorite scenes in the movie. Because you know she's afraid of seagulls. There you go. Thanks, Barbie. This one's actually kind of okay-ish. Fear is stupid. So are regrets. Yeah. That one's okay. -ish. Yeah, that one's actually not bad advice, actually. <laughs> The best thing to do first thing in the morning is go right back to bed. <laughs> so true. Yes. So true. <laughs> <laughs> People who say they give 110% don't understand how percent percentages work. <laughs> that I also agree with. <laughs> Nothing is more beautiful than a smile that's struggling through tears. That's <laughs> <laughs> good one. Common sense is the most limited of all natural resources. Also agree with that. <laughs> it's like... Another line, which means there's probably a horse somewhere around this area. I don't like big balls on a dog. Kim Kardashian. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't surprise me from her. <laughs> Chris. Mm -hmm. Eat like no one is gonna see you nude. <laughs> Can do? <laughs> oh god, another cutscene. Wait, is that a horse? Look, a missing horse. I'll need to get close to her to lasso her. But did we get all the fawns? No. No, we did not. No, we did not. <laughs> Where is that one? Go that way. I'm so, oh, there is a chest though. Adventure chest. This is the first time we didn't find all the foes. I'm a little disappointed. We have to go back. It's the only way. <laughs> How to tell your friends broke... Your friends break up. Newsfeed floods with those stupid... <sighs> goddamn stupid quotes. Oh my god. Tell me about it. <laughs> oh, there's a pawn right there. Oh, I ran right past you. Come here, you stupid fuck! No, <laughs> Horses more afraid than ever. <laughs> Men are born ignorant, not stupid. They're made stupid by education. That one's a little true too. <laughs> hey Teresa, I found the last of the missing bulls on this trip. Found her. Let's see if we can figure this maze out now. I believe in you. Oh, and then, uh, well, uh, yeah, no, there it goes. Not bad. <laughs> Do 
Mystery lighthouse now. What could it mean? What does the lighthouse what mean? Does it mean? <laughs> Where's the so, horse? <laughs> there it is. I, I see him. So, I was playing when we were playing that. Life is strange. Shameless plug. Go watch it if you haven't. It's pretty good too. It's pretty good. I like that yeah. game. Like a hundred times more than this one. Hey, fuck you, man. I like this game. I like this game, too. It's oh. not that bad. <laughs> Wait a minute. Second mystery lighthouse. What does it mean? Third mystery lighthouse. <laughs> yeah, it's a good game. It's a good game. Um, when I was playing that game, mm -hmm. when we were playing right, the I game, gotta keep exploring for a second, because... You want to know about the lighthouses? I'm pretty sure there's two lighthouses. But, uh, I have to check. My co one of my coworkers' favorite games is that game. Oh, nice. And she was like, "Yeah, blah blah Good blah." Call. And the entire time, I just kept looking at her every now and again, and going, "What does the lighthouse mean?" <laughs> okay, there isn't one over there. I thought for sure I saw one over there, but it must have just been the cutscene. What does the lighthouse mean? What does it mean, though? What does the lighthouse mean? It meant it meant nothing. What does it mean? It was all part of my clever ruse to keep Derek off the track. It didn't work. Still figured it out. <laughs> I had to do something because Derek is too good at, just like myself, he is too good at determining how a plot is going to end from like the first 20 minutes of it. So I'm like, I have to throw him off or else the, like, the ending Ooh. is just going to be super obvious so to him. I, I, I told you that anytime <laughs> I would watch uh, murder mystery things, mm -hmm. With uh, people, yeah. I always guess it. Nope. Like immediately, and they're like, "Would you just fucking stop?" <laughs> and um, he was just like, "Yeah, I feel like that's how I'm gonna be whenever if I ever play games with people and like they're telling the story." Yep. And like they'll say something, and I'll just look at them and be like, "They did it, didn't they?" <laughs> and uh, and then I remembered a story on Reddit, and it. I don't know if it was right. It might have been something. Yeah. But it was somebody's D&D &D game, and it was a big murder mystery campaign. Oh, God. Yeah. He didn't do any prep. <laughs> he might have done, like, ten minutes of prep every day beforehand. Right. Like, not what you would need. But he'd look at all their notes. Yeah. And make them write their own story. <laughs> I'm like, I love that. That's kind of brilliant, actually. That's actually great. Oh, I played, um, is it Risk? Is Risk the one where you're trying to take over the entire map? Yes. I played Risk for the first time. Yeah? And I won. Well, I playing it for the first time. Chris, as someone who has a strategic brain, yeah. I well, wonder why. Well, I won because I immediately started the game off with teaming up with the other person who'd never played it before. And then backstabbing them later? And then we, ch no, uh, well, we decided that we won as a team and ended the game. Because we were a, a team, we can do that. We want. We had a unified, equal victory. So what happened is we tr we tricked one right. of the other members into killing off the other two teams. So it was three against two, and then that guy was like, "All right, now I'm gonna take over." And he was at the best position. I had a, like an army, like laid out. Like, were you playing? Yeah. Were you just playing in real life with a bunch of people? Yeah, I was playing in real life with a bunch cool. of people. Um, and they, what they did was, um, what's the, what's the word I'm looking for? So they, so essentially he took over, like, a whole bunch of stuff and he was, like, set to win. Like, he easily yep. could have won. Me, I had most of North America, and then my buddy had most of South America. Um, and then, but he had, like, one... He had, like, one army on each plot that he had, and yeah. I was literally defending him as an alliance teammate. Yeah. Um, and then he started coming over, and then we we ended up just taking over enough land so that we could start getting, like, more and more army people. Mm -hmm. And then... Uh, I'm, I'm trying to make the... I'm trying to explain this in a way that doesn't sound boring as shit. But, uh... No, I get it. Yeah. I understand it. So, he... 
essentially the dude who was trying to take over was uh, an Af he was the African warlord because he was playing as the black piece and he took over all of Africa first. So we dubbed him as the African warlord. I love it. Uh, he just slowly started annihilating everyone, and he would like push us all the way back. And then to like our lines, and then we would get our turns. Cause essentially he was, cause it was like, we would push our armies as thinly as possible and yep. take as much land from him as possible. And they would be, and we were playing against uh, the other people who were still hanging around. And they're like, yeah, but you spread yourself too thin. He's just gonna overthrow you again. I'm like, yeah, but what you don't understand is that I essentially have two turns in a row. <laughs> oh I god, that's a sea lion. It's gonna kill you. Oh, there's the there's oh, the there's grass from there's apples. I, do I don't know if sea lions apples. eat apples. <laughs> Are you questioning Barbie's horse? <laughs> no, <laughs> never. But uh, yeah, we essentially won because we we got two turns in a row. I and love he was that. forced to have one turn in a row, and then at the end, essentially, I sacrificed m myself so that my friend could win, and then we determined that we were the victors. The we are. Must be scaring her. It was brilliant. <laughs> we, um... So, I don't know if you've heard of the game, uh, Villainous? Yep. So I got that game. Me and my girlfriend got a couple games at Target. Mm -hmm. And that was one of the games we picked up. Right. And, uh, I watched some... We watched... Me and her watched some people playing it. Yeah. And we were like, ooh, this seems fun. Maybe, oh, maybe let's get it if we ever get the chance. Mm -hmm. And it was at Target. And the, it was a buy two games, get one free oh, type yeah. of thing. So we were like, cool, let's do this. Right. I want the expansion for this game. That game looks fun. But what's the third? We got, ended up getting a little silly game that's like yelling and slamming your hands on table, which is fine. We got it a little bit. Yep. But we played Villainous. And um, it's six player. We had five people. Mm -hmm. They're gonna make an expansion. I can't wait for the expansion because the expansion adds Hades. Nice. Which I don't even care how you play him. It sounds like a bit awesome time any already. I can't <laughs> wait for the expansion that adds Scar. Oh, it's uh, Disney villains. Yep. You're playing Disney villains, trying to complete oh, okay. your own personal objective. Yeah. And um, you win. It's not like I have 20 power. I win the game. Unless you're the character whose mission that is. Which is King John, the Robin Hood villain. Yeah. Who is just King trying John to get a bunch of money. Fishing boats. Okay. Continue. <laughs> and it's just funny. I ended up winning because, you know. I ended up winning because I'm just so much better than everyone. Mostly because I picked the character with the easiest victory condition. Ah, nice. And nobody was attacking me, which says, like, guys, I'm, like, super close to winning, but no <laughs> one's doing anything. <laughs> I for Okay, I forgot about this for the Risk story. It's actually kind of semi uh, relevant. Similar. Yeah. Yeah, continue. So, I I spent because you know it's like oh you start your round you get your enemy you get your uh, you get your pieces you get your pieces. Can I go up this? No. Oh, okay, I don't know why I thought I could. But, I don't um, know why either. But yeah, you get your pieces, and I I spent the first like three or four rounds like not attacking anyone or doing anything. So just accruing a bunch yeah. of shit. Yeah, and then like. One of, and then my buddy Mike attacked me and took over my forces and I'm just like, how dare you attack the neutral colony? <laughs> I'm like, now I shall slay you and I spent the entire game trying to get him out first and I was successful. I got nice. him out first. <laughs> nice. I convinced like everyone else to team up against him. Doesn't that game out. go up to like eight players? It goes up to at least six. I don't. It was at least. Yeah, I think you had to walk. Okay, up yep, there. you were totally correct. You had to walk up there. Um, it goes up to at least six players. Yeah, it goes up to at least six. I think the one we had only did six, but I, I believe you can do eight players. I believe because I remember something about like an eight-player risk before. I don't know. I just remember I had a Transformers risk. Yeah. Never actually played it. I have all the pieces. It for is it. not worth it. I'm gonna tell you, like, it is. It's fun. Ish. It's fun until you realize that you've been playing it for like six hours and then you're like, all right, like, this was not worth my time. <laughs> it's like Monopoly when Monopoly is played wrong. Yeah, exactly. Because I've, uh, 
some people who well, I'm if, watching on YouTube and been playing the online Monopoly. Yeah. If it's played correctly, if it's played correctly, it's, it's like really an quick. hour. It takes like an hour or less if you play yeah. Monopoly correctly, but like no one does. No one does. So like it takes forever. My girlfriend got the Deadpool Monopoly because it's also a game solely designed to make you hate all your friends. Yep. <laughs> but uh, back to villainous. Nobody was uh, nobody was attacking. Because you can have this thing that, like, make, makes it so you can use a special interaction. Right. Nobody was using it. Weird. And nobody was targeting the people who were in the lead. Mm -hmm. Like, my girlfriend got close, a couple of other people got really close, like, one turn away. And then I was like, guys, I only need 20 power to win, and I have, like, 30. You guys fucked up bad. <laughs> so true. Yeah. I, like... Yeah, I mean, it, it was... It, I mean, it's fun, but it is, like, if you're out first... It's boring. It's boring. It's hella boring. I mean, I got knocked out uh, like third, to, third last. to last. Yeah, third to last, and the game still went on for, like, another half hour. Yep. Or more after that, and I was just like, can we just fuck... I'm like, can you, one of you just lose already so that I can fucking, like, not have to be here anymore? <laughs> like, because I wanted my teammate to win, so I was helping him strategize... And even me helping him strategize, I was like, I'm bored, waiting for fucking turns to end yep. now. <laughs> it just so, goes on forever. I think I saw, so uh, GameStop had a clearance section and like 75% mm -hmm. clearance, which is like, sweet. Yep. A couple of risks are there, and I'm like, I would get it, but I don't want to get Call of Duty risk. Yeah, I don't blame you. I feel, the, the one that I feel the <gasps> worst... <laughs> The one I feel the worst for though is my buddy Mike, because I took a, I went I made it my goal to make get rid of him first, and I did. I successfully got rid of him first. Yeah. He was he had to sit there. He stayed and watched us play this game until we finished. He was out like the first hour. We played for like another five hours yep. after that of him just sitting there having to be like, alright, this is just the game now. <laughs> like That's why that game is like, I want it. But I don't. Like, I felt bad after a while, because I'm just like... He's like, if I lose first, I'm going home. And he, like, lost first, and he's like, that's it, I'm going home. Peace, guys. And they, like, stuck around. And by the time it was over, it was, like, I feel five sorry hours for you, man. later. I'm like, I feel bad for you. My, uh... But, you know, you shouldn't have attacked me first. I'm just saying. <laughs> my my brother's friend, TJ. TJ is a big fan of, that, of like, strategy games as well. Mm -hmm. And, uh... I think he had, like asked me, hey, do you want to play Risk at some point? And I was just like, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, it is one of those things where it's like, it's definitely fun, but it's not, it's not worth it. It's one of those <laughs> games you if I use this pulley, can... I can pull the raft across the gap. Okay. But like, yeah, let's, let's whistle for the horse. Grab the, grab the little pawn. Here you put on the thing. Oh, oh, I, I think I get how this works now. No, yeah, activate and then the switch. Activate. Yeah, they they won't even let you activate it unless you had the horse on it. Yeah, weird. But uh, oh cool! I can put it. I thought I was oh, I thought I was gonna have to go all the way around again. I was like, oh shit! I wouldn't doubt it. You know what? I'll give. You gotta give this game credit. It's pretty good at not giving you bullshit. True. Like, <laughs> what was I saying? Like clearance clearance games. There was a couple board games there, mm -hmm. and one of them is uh. Hail Hydra. Hail Hydra. Which, whenever I play that, like the next two weeks after that, I'm gonna walk up to people, get right up close to their ear and just go, Hail Hydra. You would fit in perfectly with my college friends. Because we actually do that to each other. Good. Like we'll go months in months and then all of a sudden like one of us will just be like, oh man, it's been cool hanging out. And they'll go, go for a handshake and they'll pull them in for like the hug and they'll be, Hail Hydra. Like, right into their ear, and he's like, I knew you'd do that every time. It's the greatest thing. Yeah. <laughs> like, I think, um, after watching Captain America, I think, with a couple of people, or watching it with somebody. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I did that to somebody for, like, an entire week. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it might have been, it might have been my girlfriend when we were working together, and I'd lean in every every now and again and just be like, Hail Hydra! 
<gasps> What's in that cave? I'm wondering. Well, I'm wondering no. which is the right no. way. Is no, this it's the that right way. way or is That's the, the right way. way. Go to sure? the cave. I don't think it is. Look at all these. Yeah, no, this is not the right way. Maybe it is the right way. That looks like the right way. Yeah, I think you're right. Okay. I guess we're going back. I found a present, though. Presents are normally not on the right way. I don't know anymore. I have no idea. <laughs> it's but, like, uh, no idea. Damn it, sea turtles. But Hail Hydra, man. <coughs> it Hail looks Hydra. like an interesting game. Hail Hydra's a rocket, though. Hail Hydra. You can literally just do that to anyone, and if they don't know what it's from, it's even funnier. What? Because... Wow, Derek. I don't know, man. Thanks. I thought it was going to be a cave. <laughs> it is a cave. It's a lame cave. <laughs> is there anything to the left there? I don't, I don't like know. There more. Oh, yeah, there was. Another lame cave, Derek. Although, wow, this looks really good. I like it. This is really Where well done. Going? This is my art direction. <gasps> Shit, we're out of time. We'll see you next time. Peace. Peace. <laughs>